recipe is hydrogen peroxide. A glass with warm water. Make sure it's less than half cup. A bottle, an empty bottle. Measuring cup. Dish soap. A funnel. Yeast. And food coloring. This bowl is very hot, so make sure you don't touch it while the foam is coming out. You can touch it after a few minutes. Nishi, I'm very, very, very excited to see the elephant toothpaste. Mia, I'm so excited too. It's gonna be cool. Let's start now. First, get your dish soap and add few squirts. Open up your hydrogen peroxide and add one and a half Now, let's add our food coloring to it. Gently stir it. Now, get your warm water and add your yeast into it. One packet of Mix it around until the yeast dissolve, dissolves in water. Put all your stuff on the ground. This is going to be messy. You don't want your stuff to get messy. Okay, Wait, let's get our funnel. And pour it into it. Coming up is rising. Toothpaste! <laughs> Perfect toothpaste. It exactly looks like a toothpaste I use. Nishi, do you know why it's called elephant toothpaste? No, can you tell me? Because when it gets out of the tube, it's shaped like a toothpaste and so much thick that only an elephant can use it. That's cool. Nishi, I know why it's called elephant toothpaste, but don't know how it works. Hydrogen peroxide is made from two hydrogen and two oxygen. Water is made from two hydrogen and one oxygen. When yeast and hydrogen peroxide are mixed, that creates a reaction. This reaction is called exothermic reaction. When yeast is added in the bottle, hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water and oxygen. Oxygen is a type of gas, so it tries getting out of the bottle. So when it's getting out of the bottle, the dish soap traps it, creating bubbles. As the bubbles are rushing out, it turns into foam. This creates energy. So that is why the foam is hot. So that is how we made elephant toothpaste. Thanks for 